Okay, I guess you would have called this part three, even though it's just a continuation of the last video piece. So there is our black wire coming through the corner of the cabinet. You can still see some of the silicone on it. I'll dab that yet. And then the red wire is the one I just fished down the cabinet wall because the wall is hollow. And that's where all the other wires are. So the black wire will then fish across the top of the cabinet here and I'll put a nice little concealing clamp or something on that. And that gets us here into the microwave where the red wire will su supply us power over to our switch panel and the black wires or controls will come over here where I mount the control for the lights and then we'll have our switch. So one little tip of trying to get down that wall, we have to come all the way down and you know come out the bottom here. So there's all the wires. The bundle here on the right is the 12 volt. The yellow, orange, and white here is the 120 volt. So to get down there, um, I was having some troubles fishing it because the wire wasn't heavy enough. So I took a screwdriver tip, gave it a little bit of weight, electrical taped it to the end of the wire, and then I could just jiggle this all the way down, and eventually it came out the bottom. So I have plenty of wire now. I'll be able to get to our feed, make the nice connection, and then put this back in, securing it with the other wires. So we're ready to do that process. Um, so I'm going to stop for tonight because we got church. But that is um, the basic rough in, and this all comes. You know, this all comes out of uh, good pre-planning. Everything that we pre-planned with the layout actually is working out pretty well. Just take your time and make sure you know where you're drilling and flow the wire where you want it to go. And uh, so now we'll just have to hook everything up. All right, till next time.